right, guys. Got you again. It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. And today we're doing a video on the best EDC fixed blade in my collection. But first, what are we sipping and what are we flipping? I have a surprise for you. We're not sipping anything because I'm trying to not do that anymore. So yay for sobriety. Uh, we're flipping this still. This thing put in a lot of work today. There we go. Awesome, right? Okay, I wanted to make this video because I get questions all the time in my DMs on Instagram about what I think the best EDC fixed blade is, and I don't have an answer if you're looking for a production knife. I don't have one. However, if you're looking for custom knives, I have a very specific maker and model that I love for EDC. Uh, so if you follow my page on Instagram, you would know that my all-time favorite knife for EDC, for work EDC, is the Emerson Mini A100. Okay? So this is my all-time favorite knife. I love the blade shape, I love the lack of ergonomics, and I love that it's easy to sharpen, and that even when you dull it, it still keeps a nice working edge. That's like most important to me is that I can use my knife for things other than cutting. And even if it dulls the edge, I still have a working edge. That is super important for me. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. So we have this, that is like the ultimate EDC knife for me. But I do have a fixed blade that I would consider the ultimate EDC fixed blade. So my favorite knife maker right now and probably forever is John Miller from BGM Knives. He is incredible. So he was in New York. He moved to New Hampshire where I am. He's 21 years old, full-time knife maker. That's his job. And his work is incredible. He also offers a lot of steels that are, I wouldn't say rare, but they're not common in the community as of right now. And I really like that because they're steels that I love. So this knife right here is called a mini Kephart. This is one that him and I worked on together. This is not a model he offers. This is a full custom, okay? So when I contacted him about this, this was my second knife from him. The first one was amazing. It was a mini Bowie in Z-Wear, full flat ground, amazing. Uh, I got it for an EDC slash small game hunting knife, and it works awesome for that. It's just so thin that I know I can't fully EDC it because it's just extremely, extremely thin. Like, there's no way I can pry and scrape with it. Um, I don't think it would break. It just would make me nervous, and the blade shape isn't right anyway. It's a Bowie knife, okay? So when I contacted him, I was looking for basically a fixed blade version of this. And I said, if you can make me a six and a half inch mini Kephart uh, in Nitro V steel, that would be a winner for me. And sure enough, this is what we got. And I can promise you, I have tested this and this thing is a tank, okay? So let's kind of go over what makes this special. We have a six and a half inch knife, perfect size for EDC. You can throw it in the pocket doesn't bother you and you can also throw it on a belt or even your neck if you want isn't isn't going to give you any issues okay we have no ergonomics here none which makes it ergonomic so broomstick handle literally nothing other than a, a very slight choil right here the dogs are getting silly uh g10 handle this is a an acid stone wash you can see it's just been beat to crap, okay? And a very um, stout blade. And also, the I think I've mentioned this before, the tip aligns with like kind of the center line of the knife, and I really enjoy that because it makes it easy to use as something other than a knife. I am so sorry for the barking. The dogs are very happy to play with each other right now. So if you're using this for light prying, scraping, uh, anything like that, this knife is going to be awesome for you because it literally works as an extension of your hand and also that is some thick stock right there. But it thins out really nicely for, for nice slicing. So it's like the best of all the worlds right here. And the Nitro V, this is the first time I've ever actually used Nitro V was with this. And 
it's one of those steals where Indy. Hey! See, this is my life. This is how all the videos are going to be. They're going to be cuckoo with dogs barking, and it is what it is, and I'm not ed editing it out, and I'm really sorry. If you want to see, where, that's my life. That is my literal life all day, every day, right there. Indy and Romy being cuckoo heads because they're in love. She's way too young. You know, this is just going to turn into a vlog. Fuck it, right? This is going to turn into a vlog. And we're gonna go back to the knife in a minute after I put Indy somewhere because he's crazy. Indy. Dear God. Maybe we'll start doing not your average vlog. Not your average homestead life. Not your average New Hampshire home. Okay. Wow, that's a new one for the channel. Hopefully you guys are still here because I promise we're going back to talk about the knife right now. Okay. Hope you stayed. Okay, so check out the stock, right? It's really interesting how John does his grinds because we have a really thick tip for literally anything. It thins out and then goes back to a very thick stock, okay? That blade shape is unbeatable for EDC. You get the the best of both worlds. You get um, prying capabilities, drilling capabilities, and slicing capabilities because I can tell you this thins out really nicely. It may not look it, but it does, okay? And the steel. I chose Nitro V because I had heard pretty good things about it, but the heat treat is really where it makes it special. So John's heat treat is spot on like he's only 21 years old and he's amazing okay so he's got like a very specific um what do you what do you call it uh, uh, formula he has a, a great formula going and this was my second knife from him and i wanted to do it in nitro v because i had heard that it was a really good general steel and through testing this that is exactly what it is so from my experience with John's Nitro V, this is a steel where you can get it disturbingly sharp. You can literally beat the shit out of it. Hashtag use your shit. And then it will keep a working edge with, even if it chips, even if it rolls, no matter what, it will keep a working edge forever. So... And then, it, and then when you go to sharpen it, it comes back like crazy. Super easy, super quick, and you can throw a mirror polish on it if you want really easily. But the best part is, it still stays working even when it's like defeated, which I love. Because you have some steels that once they're dull, like they're dull. Like Benchmade's 154, uh, when you dull that, you're done for. Like, it's not doing anything for you. It is on vacation in Mexico, gone. Nitro V from John, you can absolutely put microchips or micro rolls or whatever into this blade. And when you go to cut something, it is, it'll still cut for you. It's not ripping, it's cutting. Like, this steel is incredible. This knife is incredible. And John's heat treat is out of this world. So, I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in about that because I know some people would rather have a fixed blade as opposed to a folder. I get that. Like for me personally, it's a no-go. I just need a one-hand opening knife. I don't have time to do the whole pulling it out of the sheath thing. However, if you're looking for something like this, do it. Get one. John from BGM Knives. This thing is absolutely amazing. Okay? There's not a single flaw about it. So check him out, check out his knives, check out his site. He does custom work, he has models that he offers, he has 8,000 kinds of steel that he works with, and I've never had an issue with any of his knives, and I have four of them in my possession right now, and two that are being built. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you've never seen my videos before, I usually throw in a disclaimer at the end, and it's called, use your fucking shit. Love you guys.